Hello guys, it's Sandy and welcome back to my channel. Now I'm back with another that horse game video because, well, someone wanted to have a little tour of the place and honestly, I think it's good for me to actually walk around the place to see what's there right now and to see what might actually get added in the future. So I think this is a very good idea. I'm going to walk on foot, I think, for the moment. The outfit from half of the last video. I really like it. Imagine if we could have like a sun hat or something. Okay, I, I get it off track, but this is the bedroom. This is where you spawn in. So I'm gonna try to look at everything in first person. But uh, remember, this is a test phase. So things can be added, things can be changed, etc, etc. So, but the band looks really nice. Very well detailed. Actually, it's not as uh, neat as most games would have it. There's actually a rug here as well. And also in... A window, I can't really see it perfectly well, but yeah. And we have a little shelf and everything, so it's like a regular bedroom to me, which I really like, and have a nice view of the outside. Like, look at the windows in this game, it's pretty astonishing. You go out here, you have the living room. It's a little empty, not gonna lie. In the future, I think they're gonna put up the uh, artworks on the wall that people sent in. I actually sent one in myself. I hope it does get selected. I honestly have almost, for, almost forgotten about it because it's been such a long time ago now. If you go in here, I like the uh, open planning by the way. You come in here, there's a kitchen. There is one thing that does not exist in this entire house. I just realized. Well, on earth is a bathroom in here? Because I literally don't see it anywhere. There is no bathroom. It's just a kitchen, a little dining area, and a living room, and then we have a, a bedroom. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> oh my goodness, I wouldn't want to live here. Sheesh. Yeah, for that reason alone. Uh, a trash um, that is outside of the bin, so... Like, let's just say you're cooking something, and you're like, Oh, the trash is full, I'm just gonna put it like here, and then, uh, I'm gonna take it outside, and I forgot to put in a new trash bag. That's... Kinda like me, honestly, so it's really suiting. Imagine in the future we could open these as well. That would be kinda cool as well. Anyhow, that's her outside. This is basically the inside of the house, but yeah, no bathroom, as I said. Okay, so we enter outside. Beautiful, open thing. Actually, it's sunny for once. It's gonna rain now. I can see on the clouds. You guys got to see the sun for a few seconds. It's really cloudy now, but... There's actually a silo over here, I think, or is a water tank, I'm not quite sure. But you can actually climb up a ladder inside of the stables, but anyhow. This is the stables. This is very interesting. You have three entryways. You have this one, which is, I assume, the main one. Or the main one might be that one on the left side. But the stables, you also have a light switch here. It's a little too dark for you. Which turns on like after a few seconds it doesn't do that right away which is actually accurate it doesn't take that fast for light to actually turn on especially in this kind of place it should take some time we have many stalls in here we have some hay laying here. the sound should shift when you're walking here in my opinion but it doesn't so we have a little water bucket is that for the food or that for the water i'm not quite sure uh, i don't remember Either way, it doesn't really matter. The point is that these are in here in every single stall I can see from here. So that's kind of cool. I hope in the future we'll be able to actually do some take caretaking for the horse. Like uh, get some hay from the hayloft and everything. Which you can actually access. So there must be a reason you can actually access it. I forgot to close the door over there. But, oh, shit, so I forget it. This is the care area. Now this place is really cool. The hoos doesn't function. But... It is here for a reason, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to. You can hitch your horse here though in these hitching holes, which is great. And you do have mocking equipment here, so I assume you're gonna be able to just take this and actually go outside because you could actually mock, and you can actually in the demo version they have out now. That there is an early uh, demo that they put out before they started recreating it. So that demo is still accessible. It's still nothing like this right now, but it is accessible. So it works. It's really laggy that game, but it it's still pretty. It it's just takes a lot to run. That's all. And you also have a uh, a sink here. So we have two rooms here. This is the salad chamber, and this is the food chamber. And it's raining outside. I called it. 
So we have another light here as well. Now we have some uh, steel buckets here, and we have a bag and a bucket. And also, I think this is where the food is stored, um, and more sacks of food, and actually a little shovel. So we have baskets and lovely window out here to the rain. Love it. <laughs> and another sink and another storage for food or something, etc. Uh, a lump of bread, for some weird reason, is in here. That makes no sense, honestly. Thank you. There we go. So, if you go in here, this is the saddle chamber. Which you can actually put up saddles and everything. You can actually hang things in here. I can demonstrate that for you guys, if you didn't know that. This is where you hang bridles. Bottle. Shelf. And put one in here. Now, I wish it wasn't like that sort of menu, because if you- Let's say you're role-playing. You're gonna grab this. Um, it's gonna be really funky. But you can see I'm holding it right now, which is kind of fascinating how that works. This sort of thing works here, and this is a saddle pad racket. Nice as well. Really cool. And saddles. So, I'm not gonna lie, I like to have this. It looks really realistic. I still wish there was an option to put saddle pads underneath saddles. Like, right away, so you, you carry it right away. That's what I used to have when I was riding in riding school. They always were, like, placed underneath already. It was faster. Maybe it's more hygienic this way, I'm not quite sure, but, um, yeah. We also have a little table here with uh, uh, horse care equipment. Not that it's really needed, because we have them all in the bag. But everything is underneath there as well. It's really nice, like, uh, more saddle pads, etc. So that's that. It's also a giant couch here for some reason. You cannot sit in it sadly, but uh, it's there. That's how you would do it. I'm trying to learn for role playing purposes. Okay. So we have a little garage over here, which has gotten some new things since the last time I was over here. Like these big boxes are new. The bike was there pretty much all the time, but these things weren't really here. Like, I don't recall this being here. I could be wrong, but this has always been here. Risk of electricity shock. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, it's always been there in my opinion, but we can go up here. So if we go upstairs, no animation really, just teleports you pretty much, but this is the hayloft. Now this is quite fascinating. There's also a nice lamp right here, and uh, I really like the hayloft in this version of the game, because it looks really neat. So yeah, hay everywhere, hay bales. And also some bins and the baskets and the barrels, etc. So there's a lot of things up here, and you can see all over the stables, which is really cool. I really like this actually. So we're gonna go ahead down and head outside. Very smooth. I like that actually. I'm gonna turn off the lights as well because the lights switched, they reach all the way. So that's really cool. Okay. So if you enter out here, which I usually do, you come out to uh, the training arena, pretty much. It stopped raining at least now, so that's quite nice. The weather does change very drastically here at the moment, so it can come fun to any second, but luckily, not yet. This is a build a course. So here you can build a course. Now you can actually hover around like this, and you can place jumps like this. You can put out down ground walks, like dressage, etc. You can even do some sort of barrel racing, which I did last time, and you can also use destructibles. So you can actually shoot with a bow and arrow on these. I might demonstrate this later, if you're not familiar with that mechanic yet, but we're gonna have a look at that later. For now, I'm gonna continue the tour, but this is how the place looks like anyway. We're gonna have to take a horse with us to the outside as well, but I'm gonna do a um, care system for that one. So I'm gonna start running a bit because <laughs> uh, I don't have the condition for this. <laughs> yeah, I literally don't. If I if this was me running right now, I would be dead. Dead meat. So here we have a horse pasture. This is where you can let your horses out. The horses do walk around, which is quite fascinating. So if you let them out, I think they could actually walk around everywhere, but I'm not quite sure. This place seems kind of big, actually. Hold on. Open this one up. Yeah, it is kind of big actually. So you have this whole pasture space. I'm just gonna run over here. <laughs> Mission impossible. 
Here is a little out shed for the horses if it like rains and such. So it's nice. Mm, not really any like uh, water troughs here or anything. I don't see that in the way yet. So hopefully they will add it in the future. But if you have played the other version of this game, it's way different than this place is. It's a different layer and everything. But here are the small pens for the horses. We have a few different horses. We have a look at them all one by one. So this is the black one. Ugh. One of my favorites, actually. I really like this one. His name is usually Raven in my role place. So I'm gonna grab a bridle. I think I put the good bridle inside of the... Yeah, I did. Oopsies. <laughs> yeah, this one works. So you can lead the horses like this. So I'm not quite sure if I should view the horse outside because it's gonna rain. Again. Which it usually does. But the first person was recently added to the game again, which is really nice. You can walk around with the horses. You can like, run with them. Look how well that is made. So I'm just gonna run inside because the rain is coming. You can see it's trotting right behind me. We're gonna have a look at them all, by the way. So, gonna go in here. Come. Good boy. Alright. And I switch, please. Good boy. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at him. We could let him in a box as well to see how he reacts, but. Maybe let's do that. I haven't really let a horse in a box yet, so I'm not sure how they're walking around. So this is a black horse, Raven, as I usually call him in my role plays, like I mentioned. He is very good. He has a shaved mane right now, but at the moment you can actually change your appearance. So if you go in here and F, you can actually change how they look right now. So I think Raven used to have a short mane like this. You can have a very long mane. The mane isn't really animated, what I noticed yet, so hopefully that's gonna be a thing in the future. But so far, so good. This one looks really cool, actually. There's really many options. Same with the tail and everything, like I mentioned. There's a lot of different options. Oh, I guess pushed to the side. Oh, schnitzels. I think this is what I Raven used to have. I don't really recall. It's been such a long time. He didn't used to have that tail either. I think Raven had this one. I don't really see it because I'm in the fence. It's fine. So I think this is how Raven used to look like. I don't really remember. It's been a while, but this is Raven. So I might actually get my other stuff inside here. Because I realize I don't really have anything in the bag anymore because I put everything in here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna grab that. Okay, so I'm gonna go and grab the other horses and I'll be right back with them. Hi, Lucky. I haven't used Lucky in a roleplay yet. Let's grab him. Come on. He's very pretty, though. He's a really special horse. Yeah, you're a good boy. Oh, I can see Raven in the window. That's so cool. Like I mentioned, it's the first I'm actually putting the horse in the stalls. So, oh, he's gonna... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to cut your legs, Lucky. Oh, poor boy. Actually, I think uh, Raven has moved a bit. I just realized. So... I'm actually gonna. I wish we're gonna have uh, halters in the future as well, because that would be great. I'm just gonna. Yeah. Whoa, oh, 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 oh! Hey, hey, hey! Stop that! I'm just taking off this. Easy, boy. But this is a little paint-ish horse. It has a little paint pattern on the butt. Don't do this in real life. Don't walk behind horses like this. But um, it has a paint marking here. Really fascinating. It's the only horse the surgeon has a little paint-ish mark to them. It has a paint horse vibe. Long socks and everything. So this horse is the most unique of them all in my opinion actually. Oh, Raven, you moved again. Also, the horses in the other game version that is available to play for everyone is actually the horses don't really move at all. They don't actually walk around like they do in here. So, they, I mean, they walk in the wall, but still, they're still walking, right? So... Oh, the thing is flimmering as well. That's not good. Anyhow, I'm going to leave you guys be here for now. I'm going to get the others. I'm taking it this way because I need to close this as well. And I'm going to get the white one. <laughs> Atlas. Hey, boy. What's up? Oh, you have that mane. I just really, I haven't seen Atlas close ever since um, this test phase because I didn't go close to the horses. Oh, you look good. Hello. How's it going? He also had blue eyes. I just realized Lucky and Atlas have blue eyes. This is the idle animations, by the way. It's laying down right now. 
Yeah, that's cute. And if I just... Uh, this is not ideal. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag you around. Gosh, my character is strong. <laughs> if I can just drag you. I think launching in this game can be kind of cool as well. Just launch the horses. It's still test phase, everybody. But Atlas is a pure grey. So, really white. And uh, has blue eyes. Very pretty. Taking him inside. Coming to get you. So this is my new favorite over here, by the way. It's changed looks slightly. There used to be another horse there. That had, like, a dark mane. But the color changed, so. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Raven's face was shown. Oh my goodness. They are peeking through the walls. Oops, sorry for your... Uh, your little bum got squeezed. Okay. Here they go. Yeah, you're joining a lot, Raven, over there, huh? Okay. I I'm trying to... Thanks. He literally went up with his head when I tried to take the thing off. That's really rude. Okay, but this is the white, uh, aka Grey Horse. Very cute. As I said, I usually call this horse Atlas in my roleplays. I think I did a roleplay with you. Um, no, I didn't, maybe? I think I was thinking of doing that, but it, the game lagged out so much in... Um, the other versions, so I couldn't be. I wasn't able to. I think I had a script somewhere. But I like making role plays in this game. I like. I want to make movies as well in the future. Hopefully, that will gonna be possible. There's also a multiplayer function that is not out, by the way, in yet in this game. Hope it's gonna be out soon. Multiplayer is gonna be a thing in this game, which is really cool as well. I need to get the last one, which is the, the Chestnut Bay out there. It's raining again. Oh, sorry. I'm coming, Achilles. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm gonna save you. <laughs> I don't know why I said so dramatic, but I left the bridle on with the other horse. No, I don't think I did. No, I did not. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at you. Yeah, come here. Good boy. Oh, good boy. He came to me. Feeling so happy right now. <laughs> Achilles remembers me from last video. Okay. Good boy. I know you want to go inside. This is my new favorite, by the way. I used to like the black one the most, Raven. But this one is really ooh, unique. The turning was funny. So, let's head inside. I left the stable door open. I just realized, oopsies. Sorry, horses. Alrighty. Okay, last horse. Then we're going to have a little look at the riding hall. You're sticking through the thingy. Ah, that looks painful. Oh, lord. I'm saying right now, this is already looking way better than it does, actually, in the other game that they made of this version. So, it looks way better already. And it's still a test phase, so. So, this is the fourth last horse we have available. All the horses are customizable, like your main tail. And it's still in the early stage, so it's not perfect yet, but it still looks great, in my opinion. Like I said, this horse is Achilles, my other... Uh, role play. I think he was a dressers horse in my role plays. I'm not quite sure. But he's cute. One of my favorites. Stay there. Don't kick me, please. Which one of these four is your favorite? Let me know, by the way. Kind of curious. Oh, let's like. Oh uh, no, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> hey, lucky. Yeah. This is more realistic. It's like uh, not peeking through like that. Oh, oh, settle. That's the horses. Stable, house, and we're gonna have a look at the riding arena. There we go. I like the sliding doors, by the way. There's also a hitching post here. So you can hitch the horse outside here if you want. Like, example, if you have um, a, a horse with you and you just want to get some tack inside of the stables. That's, that's really nice. We go in here. Blank open space. We all love an empty canvas to paint on. I can still not... Uh, light the switch here because it's a bug right now in this game. So I need to run to the other side. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Bright and shiny. There's also a build a course uh, sign in here, which they added recently. Very great because I really wanted one. So you can edit the course here exactly the same way as you did outside. You can put in lots of objects in here. So Really great. Also, we have our character. Hello, you all probably forgot about me. <laughs> this is my character right now because you can customize it pretty much how you want right now. So if you press tab, 
you enter the presets, you have a preset 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then you go back to 1. So this is the default one that you get as present 1. You can change the skin texture, skin tint, saturation, brightness, hair stubble. I didn't know that was a thing actually. <laughs> ear shape. You can zoom in like this as well on your own. This is nice. And head shape. You can really make it into your own. Also, if you go to your nose, you can change everything here as well. Like, it's really customized, but I like games where you can customize things, which is really great. And also mouth size and everything, so you can do all these things as well. You can change the height, everything, so... Jaw, eyebrows, you can even have a, a good age to yourself, or be really young. I'm somewhere in between, so... You can be muscular, you can really lay um, non-muscular, you can have strong legs. <laughs> you can weigh at large, you can be underweight, and you can be in the middle between. You can change this size as well, you can change the curvedness of your body, which is really personally amazing. You can even have a beard and a mustache. The fact that you can do this is really cool. Now, there is none, not really um. A female or male option you create what you want to create so if you want to be a mix of both or just uh, a female or a male you decide that on your own which is really fascinating that you can do this and we have the clothes which is great I forgot I need to change back to my my hair because there's a lot of different hair options I like this one actually very cute, but I always have this because it's similar to how I look. If you guys have been through my live streams, you know what I look like. That's why I always wear glasses in this game. So it has a lot of different options of hairstyles and very short ones and the non-hair as well. So it's really, really a lot of things going on here. So we have clothes. Now I like this demon jacket. I love demon jackets, by the way. And you have different color options to them. You can pick whatever you want, what you feel like. You have sweaters, you have t-shirts, which these t-shirts are actually really pretty. Even I like this pink one, and I don't like pink. So I wish it really nice. And the dimmer jackets. Fascinating, yes. We have jeans. We have cargo pants, like camo. We have jogging pants and shorts. There is more. Actually, I've seen more in the other version. I'm sure there's going to be more soon. We have footwear, we have sneakers, different kinds of sneakers, and different models of sneakers. This is like jogging, I think. So you can actually do a jogging um, roleplay, like you go for a jog and then you go to stables. Which is kind of fascinating. I like ankle boots and regular boots. So I really like these. I'm going to actually keep boots on. So you have also hands. Nothing here yet. I think you're going to be able to have gloves and such. So I have glasses, you can have sunglasses. Glasses, aviator, hoop rings, so earrings, and a riding helmet, of course. Safety first. So, for this sake, I am gonna wear a riding helmet because we're going riding. So, we're saving this. So, we're gonna go and get a horse because we're gonna have a look at the surroundings. Now, I hope the weather won't be too bad, but there's a risk it might be. Could take um, Atlas, actually. I haven't been riding this guy for a long time. What are you, you doing in there? I really wish we could have a halter. I hope we're gonna get one soon, but for now. Whoop. Hey, good boy. Ooh. Yeah, I know. You're excited. So am I. Let's go. So I'm gonna uh, hitch him up over here. Alrighty. So this is how it looks like when they're hitched, which is really cool. This horse looks really nice. I think the model got reworked on because he looks way better than I remember. So let's do some grooming and such first because it's a thing. So you can brush the horse. Hey, Atlas, stop it. What are you doing to me, eh? Stop being so naughty. He didn't like that, actually. <laughs> Sometimes a horse have died of the mate. Like, hey, stop that. But they're just doing that because they're programmed to sometimes. And we have a fourth pick. Don't bite me. Oh, there's a little bug here. I just saw that. Hold on. Yeah, we're better this time. It actually 
the horse's hoof went on way too quickly. This is the bow, by the way. You can also feed the horses. Here, has some apple. I love this feature, by the way. It's amazing. So, now when we've done all this, taking care of the horse, we can actually take it up. So, let's put it on. There's different kinds of tacks. You have different kinds of saddle pads. So, you have uh, blue, like I just saw. You have yellow. You have green. Quite fascinating. You have purple. And you have, like you saw me use earlier, you have red and honestly i think purple is actually the best one for this horse i'm gonna use purple you have different saddles as well you have a little brownish one you have a little more uh different one i think but this one is different this one is black stop okay i'm sorry i keep putting your own saddles on you i'm gonna use the um, the brown one actually you have brown english black as well so you can see a little uh, thumbnail spinning down there we can swap like this as well so this is what i'm gonna use there is no leg wraps right now you also have um let's see let's say equipment you can see in, in here everything so everything is in here really nice so with that being shown we're gonna go and head out and take a little ride now i think it's um, a very gloomy outside which is yeah it's not too bad i guess oh, oh come Hey, come. Good boy. I really like the animation. It actually makes the horses look very unique. So. Oh, it worked down pretty weird there, actually. It usually doesn't. So, we're gonna mount up. Stay here. Stop! Whoa. This is how you mount on a first person. Now, you don't have to have first person. But, for the sake of showing things, I think it was nice to have first person. Better than nothing, and if you mount in uh, this purse mode, you see it like this. Let's have a look around the area. The horses have different animations as well. So, they have a walk animation, of course. You can collect the walk. You can extend the walk, which is really nice. Trotting. You can collect the trot. You can extend it. Dressage for matter. And if you double tap uh, A or D, you turn really fast. And if you don't, you turn like this. So, you're turning way fast if you double tap, by the way. Way good if you're going to do dressage and such. And you can also do... Um, I'm not sure what they were called, but uh, you can do these sort of things. Now you hold them in. Before, you didn't do that thing, but you can do these passages um, across... So it's really nice, actually, that they have this. I have not seen a game have this mechanic, so... Like, this easily. And we can't drop. And you have a collected. You have a regular. And you have extended. Now, extended counters for me is really pretty. I really like it. You also have lead changes, which actually got worked on. So they are smoother than they used to be. And this thing, they just updated recently, and it's the gallop. It's way better than it used to be. You also have a drifting. And this is what I mean. That you can actually do some barrel racing, etc. Like western stuff. Because you have this drifting feature. So, with that being shown. There is a lot of things as well, of course. You have idle animations. So, when you stand still, you press space. It does this. So, that's really nice that it actually has this as well. Right now you're just kicking out at me. Can you do a little rare as well? Come. Nope. He doesn't want to. <laughs> so, let's have a look at the scenery. This is what riding looks like in first person now, which is really great. So, you can leave this place. You can go as pretty much as the boundary takes you. There's a lot of trail paths here. Let's follow one and see where it leads us. You have different kinds of areas. You have a little mountains around us. You have uh, different kind of trees, etc. And if you ride along this path here, because you can see the houses and everything over there. If you ride down here, you're arriving to a beach. Now, this beach, you can actually go inside of the water, which is kind of fascinating that you can do that. So we're going to have a little looky. You can sadly not um, short in it. You can only walk in it, but look how detailed the water is. Oh, wait. 
I lied. You can't trot now. You couldn't do that before. They changed it. Oh, that's great, Atlas. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, that's nice. If you saw the effect of the water. Look at the splatter. That is fascinating. That is well made. I didn't know they actually fixed that. So, that's the water. You have a beach area. Really nice. So, we're going to head on and actually check the other parts. The map isn't big at the moment, but I think it's going to be bigger. I hope they're adding a lot of things out here. Like, you have, like, some... Uh, bow shooting etc there's no wildlife at the moment there is no animals no birds no foxes etc oh <laughs> i forgot where the path goes sorry you come around this way you see the houses and everything here you can actually take a path here as well so there's a lot of pathways around here so you can actually leave the area there is no loading screen at all in this version you can just run around as you please no loading which for me is great honestly you can actually go up here so it's Come in. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Ooh. So you can actually go up here, but there is a boundary here. So the boundary starts here. So you cannot go further. You can see the map is actually kind of extended. So I think in the future, the plan is to actually they're going to extend over to the mountains, etc. But for now, you cannot go any further. And it looks kind of funky when you're running downhill <laughs> and uphill. It looks like this. So there's not really a mechanic for you to do this yet. And there's no fall damage though, so... Whee! <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Guys, look at the house. It's over there, in the distance over there. So, you have a distance between everything. Where's the path again? There is no logs out here. So you cannot really jump anything out here. I hope they're gonna add that in the future as well. Like, you're gonna have some activities out here. Because for role-playing purposes, that would be great as well. And this is the path way back. You can also take this path and go further away. So that's so. If you go this way, you can actually get a further access to a different part of the area. So as you can see, this is pretty much it. And you're coming back after this rendezvous. You're coming back to the stables. Of course, you don't have to take the paths as well. But you, there is paths here. Probably should head back to the stables. And we are back now. Actually. The weather changes, like you see in the sky now, it's gonna rain or thunder, anything like that. It's cloudy. I don't even have the best graphics on. This is the graphics I have. You can have epic on. I have high on. So what you're seeing right now is actually not the best graphics. Let's take you inside. And I want to take another horse for this experiment. And yes, this video is very long because I want to show everything. I'm gonna attack you, you screw quickly. You can ride bareback if you want to. For this sake ready going fast i'm just gonna do this so let's take achilles i'm gonna do different things with different horses let's have the yellow one because it turned out to be really th ugh, suiting this horse oh schnitzels yeah let's take this one okay if you watch my last video you could see that actually you could do some barrel racing but it could be fun to actually show you guys in here as well there's a lot of things you can do with a little bit of animation and some objects um, I haven't had any thunder yet, which is kind of surprising because usually when I'm recording, I always get thunder. And I've been in here for 40 minutes. Nothing happened yet. So we're gonna put down some decorations, which is these barrels. Last video I did a sort of thing when you did, um, so you kind of have a, this is just ugh, ish starting gate. And you go all the way up and you actually get these barrels. So yeah, around there. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so I'm just gonna find this one and delete it. You can actually customize these as well if you want to. If you go in here, let's go to this barrel. So you can actually use a different type. So I'm gonna go with the C because it looks actually kind of westerny. So this is how you do it. You can just close it and everything should be here. Perfect. So we're gonna take Achilles. I'm gonna ride. So I'm gonna go out of first person because it's easy to see here. So, so we're gonna head to the starting gate. But you gotta be galloping. If you're not galloping, you're actually uh, not physically possible to do this. So, let's go. Get, get. I wish it was a little easier to do the drifting, like another button, but this works for now. Oh, that would be a penalty for sure. Yeah, 
Yeah, because double tapping sometimes can be really difficult. As you see them drifting very badly right now. Resetting. Try one more time. Then we're going to have a look at the jumping. Because the jumping got fixed as well. Which I totally forgot in the last video. Haha. <laughs> Go. I was drifting. I saw the bar. The first pass is a little bit easy actually. Not going to lie. Whoop. Home, home. Come on, come on. Yeah, it was way easier in first person, my opinion. So, for me, this is the best you can do when it comes to western riding in this game at the moment. Alright, let's get another horse. And I'm gonna get, actually, Raven for this one, which is the black one. Your face is, well, outside. Okay, I'm gonna use this red one, because red it looks really cool. <laughs> Taking the lead outside. Yeah, that's how you do things, by the way. Box just fine. We going inside the riding arena. I'm gonna put on some jumps. Hmm, I just realized how different the sounds when you're walking in here, and you can see the hoof prints as well. Okay, I'm gonna hold on him. You can actually see the character. Like, look at us over here. <laughs> He's facing the other way. Okay, let's put on some jumps. We have Carletis as well. Could work. So let's do this. It's just for fun. I haven't tested jumping yet uh, in this test phase, so let's have a look. Do, 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 do. And the ho horses adjust the jumping based on the jump in front of it. So if it's a Cavaletti, oh, it looks different, the jumping. Oh, schnitzels! Let me give another look. I mean, it's way smooth. I mean, it jumps um, way cleaner. Ah, it's not bad. Let's extend and see what happens if I extend. Um, The horse is drifting a little bit, I can tell. And collect it. Works fine, okay. Let's gallop. Not over the cavalities because it's gonna be a disaster. Okay, the jumping is way smoother. Like, it's easier to jump now. But I can say that much. I mean, the first person, it doesn't look bad. It's still test phase, as I mentioned, so things can be fixed. We're also gonna have a look at the shooting, which I'm probably gonna do outside, actually. There is a bow mechanic in this game as well. So you have a bow. You can equip it like this. And you can put it behind your back. So you shoot. You can also go into first person. So actually, if you shoot something, it sticks like that first few seconds. But you also have the destructibles, like I showed you earlier. So we're gonna delete everything here. And you have these things. Quite hard to hit, if I'm going to be honest. I tried it yesterday. It was really difficult. So I'm just going to put some of these in a circle. And you can put decorations around them, like this. Not too close, sadly, because um, it doesn't like that. So I'm just doing... A, you have a bush as well, like this. You also have a light. Um, this is really random right now, but... You know what? Randomness is nice. We have the ball on our back. It's right here. So I'm gonna put it on. And I'm gonna jump up. Eh. Wrong side. Hold on. We have things here. I'm gonna put it out again. So you can do this on ground and on horseback. So you can feel like... Well, you can feel from like Merida from Brave or Candice Everdeen. From the Hunting Games. There we go. It's a big splatter. It's way harder to hit now. Than it used to be. Because if you can tell, the horse is bouncing. I'm, I'm, boun I'm bouncing, by the way, when I'm holding this. Which makes it even more difficult. Oh, I actually did pretty good there. I'm doing way better today. What on earth? <laughs> oh, I actually hit everything in a circle. That's... Wow. Surprised. Can I do it in this mode? Apparently I can. 
I think I got used to it now. It was way harder yesterday. I'm gonna switch sides. Oh, it must be fun to be a game developer right now and make this game. <laughs> and just run around testing these things. I don't think it is a projectile. I think you need to actually hit it spot on. Oh, the projectile is really tiny. There we go. Alright, that's gonna be all of this video. What do you guys think? What do you think of the place currently? I think it is amazing. I was in here for an hour and not a single thunderstorm. I'm very happy about that, honestly. <laughs> and now, thank you guys for watching. Sorry, this video is really long. I just want to make a proper tour of this place because it deserves to be shown in a proper manner. And yeah, I really like this game. I am really excited for the future and I am just stoked. I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye, yo! Well, Raven, good job. Poor Lucky, he was left out. I didn't write him. Bye, let's go! Hi -hi -hi.